April 21, 2024, marked a remarkable Saturday as the UNCTAD Port Management Training of Trainers 2024 unfolded under the auspices of the Port of Cork in Ireland. This unique gathering not only brought together over 40 participants from various countries but also seemed to import the finest weather, setting a vibrant backdrop for an educational exploration of Ireland's significant maritime sites. The day commenced with enthusiasm aboard a chartered cruiser ship, expertly prepared to accommodate the attendees, ranging from maritime practitioners to industry experts. The assistant harbor master, Damian Allen, delivered an insightful exposition on the Port of Cork's strategic operations and extensive facilities. His detailed explanations provided the participants with a thorough understanding of the port's pivotal role in regional trade and logistics. Amidst the journey, a seasoned mariner and boat woman named Trish captured the audience with her enthralling narratives, weaving tales of lore and romance that span the spectrum from haunting ghost stories to heartwarming love tales. These stories not only entertained but also enriched the participants' connection to the sea as they neared their first significant stop, Cobb Island. COBH, renowned for its picturesque vistas and historic significance, was once the final anchorage of the RMS Titanic. This poignant historical footnote marks Cobb as a gateway of tears and hopes where millions of Irish immigrants last touched their homeland before venturing towards new horizons in America and beyond. Today, COBH's legacy is preserved in its well-curated museums and the preserved architectural elegance that narrates a rich tale of emigration and survival. Following Cobb, the journey continued to Spike Island, infamously known as Ireland's Alcatraz. This island has served various roles, from a monastic retreat in the 7th century, a military stronghold, to the largest convict depot in the world during Victorian times. Spike Island's transformation into a prison made it a reluctant witness to the desperation of the Great Famine and a repository for convicts bound for penal colonies abroad. The fort, now a bastion of historical heritage, offered the participants a poignant look back at its layered past through a prisoner lunch that mimicked the sparse meals once served to its inmates. The island today invites tourists to traverse its ramparts and dungeons, providing a visceral insight into the harsh realities of its previous inhabitants. As the afternoon waned, the group returned to Cobb Island at 4 p.m., welcomed by an enthusiastic crowd that seemed to have sprung from the town's storied past, eager to mingle and share in the festivities. This vibrant assembly underscored the community's warm hospitality and deep-seated connections to the rich tapestry of Irish maritime history. However, the day's adventure was curtailed as a prearranged bus, courtesy of UNCTAD and the Port of Cork, collected the participants to return them to the urban charms of Cork City, leaving behind the serene landscapes and historical echoes of the islands. The successful execution of this educational tour was made possible through the meticulous planning and coordination by Marcus Off, Johanna, Lily, Jan Jan, and attorney Amelie, whose efforts crafted an unforgettable exploration of Ireland's maritime heritage. Their dedication ensured a seamless blend of learning, discovery, and cultural engagement, promising to leave a lasting impact on all attendees. This event not only highlighted the historical and operational significance of the Port of Cork and its surrounding islands but also fostered a deeper appreciation for Ireland's maritime legacy. As we await the full narrative of this day, we reflect on the rich experiences shared and knowledge gained, which will undoubtedly enrich the professional journeys of all who attended. The successful execution of this educational tour was made possible through the meticulous planning and coordination by our host Port of Cork, whose efforts crafted an unforgettable exploration of Ireland's maritime heritage and hosting we cannot forget. Stay tuned for the full account of this enriching experience until my YouTube channel Rodi Empacath.